action. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Knitting Posse. Um, we're in a little different format, as you can see, and I'm sure you all know why. Um, but we're going to try it and see what you think. And um, I'm Kate. I'm Kim. Laura. I'm Lorian. So um, we are each podcasting from our own homes today. You can see out behind me that it is snowing in Connecticut for the first time all winter, basically. Like we haven't seen snow since what, November? Ridiculous. Yeah, that one yeah. early sort of storm. Yeah, and um, the, the sanding truck just went by. It's just crazy. Um, so anyway, um, uh, what are we wearing? <laughs> Go ahead, Kim. I'll start. Um, I'm wearing my finished object, actually. It is the Gulf Stream Pullover by Beth McDonald Stone. And it was a test knit. Um, I'll stand up for you to show. It's, it is knit in nightshades. Um, it's what color? Wait, what, talk radio. Talk radio. And which, by the way, nightshades is amazing to work with. I loved that yarn and I can't wait to use it again. Um, and as you can see, I don't have, I mean, I don't have a shirt underneath and it, I haven't washed this yet and it's not scratchy. It's comfortable, um, which is good because um, this is my gauge, actually, this whole sweater. <laughs> it's a little small. off, so it's a little small. Um, <laughs> that's shame on me. That was not the designer. That was my fault. But it fits. It's just uh, no room for an extra shirt underneath. I barely could get my bra on. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's um, actually Beth, we met her at Vogue New York this year. Yeah. She had this sweater on and I went up to her and I said, I love your sweater. And she's like, oh, she recognized us from our podcast, which was fun. Um, and it was fun. It was one of those people you meet and you're like, oh, I like her right away. She was easy to talk with. She's from Bermuda. I didn't even know they wore sweaters in Bermuda. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she sent us this uh, pattern to knit and try for her. So it's up on Ravelry actually today, which is, what's today, Monday? Monday, well, March 23rd. March 23rd. And her patterns are free right now just to help out with everyone's uh, stir craziness. So uh, you can go on my Ravelry page and you'll see any modifications I made or changes um, that you know, were different than what she called for in the pattern. But quick knit, less than a month. The lace work was really pretty on it. Look, if I stretch it out, you can see there it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, and uh, I will uh, put our Ravelry names as well as our Instagram accounts uh, below in the show notes. Yeah, so that is my, uh, what I'm wearing today. Nice. Yeah. All right, Laura? Okay, um, mine, I have, I'm wearing two things. One is also nightshades. I think the color looks terrible, uh, but this is Climb Every Mountain. It's by Heidi Kermeyer. It's a um, poncho-y-ish sweater. It's very wide and kind of swingy, and it, uh, you can see this eyelet detail. And yeah, But um, Laura, the color doesn't look terrible in real life. You're just saying it looks terrible on, on the screen. screen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes. On the screen, it doesn't look right with my lighting hair. No. And, um, but it's last call, which has the little flecks of blue in it. And I love it. And I have a bag in my um, closet of knitted items that I don't really wear. And this was on the top of it. And I pulled it out and I was like, and I, um, I put this t-shirt on underneath it. And I'm like, Ooh, I think that really goes. And I, I pulled it out and I was like, I don't know why I don't wear this. And this, I'm calling this a UFO because I cannot tell you what the yarn is, <laughs> where I got it. It was like, a, I bought the skein of yarn and it's just a very basic seed stitch cowl. Um, the yarn is really soft and yummy and has a little cashmere in it. I don't have any recollection of where it came from, but I realized why I didn't like it is it's really too big. And so I decided to use my little jewel um, design button so that it would be snug around my neck because I like cows to be cozy. Me too. That and looks great. Laura, I, it actually I, looks cute with the button in front. Turn it around again. Yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, I could totally do that. Right? <laughs> it looks so, it's so a little I'm, heavy, so it kind of like... It's a little draggy. It pulls it down a little. A little okay. But anyway, I was so oh, happy. So I was cute. like, I put the cowl on. And I was like, oh yeah, this is why I don't wear it because it just hangs and it's not... And this is really soft, cozy. And then I was like, ooh, at VKL, we... I think, Kim, you got some too. Um, these little buttons. And I was like, I can fix this. Yeah. And it's re and it's perfect for today. It's like, it's lightweight, but it's just cozy around my neck and I love it. Looks nice. good. Sorry, Laura, what color is it really? Did you say? <laughs> Which? Your cowl. Which cowl. Is it blue, green, or? It's a bluey green. It's got, um, it's kind of got flecks of stuff, but the color looks terrible right now on mm -hmm. my computer, at least what I'm seeing. But I honestly, I have, I knit this a very long time ago. I have no, I'm pretty sure I got it at a local yarn store. I'm not sure even which, and it was a free pattern with this skein or something. It's just, it's just, it's a seed stitch cowl. It's nothing um, special. It doesn't need a pattern, but. Um, Looks good. Yeah, I'm so happy. And like I said, it kind of, it, I love how it goes with the, the last call and the shirt that I wore today. I was like, oh, I can do this. So. Did you put real pants on today? <laughs> nope, I have leggings on. You sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> okay, Lorian. That's funny. I'm wearing my birthday sweater. This is the Lillet oh, sweater so that is on top of it. Here it has this nice lace. Um, and, oh, I'm not tall enough, apparently. <laughs> See, it has a little bit of a high low. I like the high low. Um, I do too. Yeah, I probably knit it a little bit long for my body. Um, I the only mod I made is I made fold over cuffs because I like my sleeves long. I love fold over cuffs. Um, this is made with yarn from Twist. Let me see if I can get this up. Twist. Is that going to read right? Yep. No. Yep. 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 It's a fate spinnery. Um, and it is their worsted weight in 50-50. 50 alpaca, 50 wool. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong last time and I said mohair and I, I wouldn't like you it. No, you don't do the mohair, right? No, so, um, <laughs> I'm super happy with it. I wanted a white sweater. I want a million more white sweaters in my yeah. wardrobe. It's a cream color, I would say. And um, that's um, it, Thea Coleman, right? Did you say that? It's by Thea Coleman. Yeah, yes. it's beautiful. I love the um, neckline. Yeah, it was really, it was really great. I'm very happy with, um, with you, it. Um, yarn yeah. left over. This yarn is, it's a farm yarn. It is very economical, nice to work with. Um, it's fun. It's really soft because I remember touching it before we couldn't see each other anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know I missed you guys. I know. No, it's ridiculous. Okay, so um, my FO is also what I am wearing. Um, it is by Julie Hoover. Surprise, um, surprise. It is the Hatcher. It has the cables in the back as well. And I modified it um, to do three quarter sleeves instead of the short sleeves. And I love it. I just finished it yesterday or the day before. Um, and it's so cozy. It is in North Light Fibers Water Street yarn, which is 60% merino, 40% cashmere. It's beautiful, um, Kate. Thank so you. Thank fabulous. you. Yeah. And I was telling Kim, I'm very proud of myself. So one other person on Ravelry had commented about um, she wished her, her ribbing lined up with the cables mm -hmm. in the front of her sweater. So I did that on purpose. Surely <laughs> the pattern it's, it's, called for that, right? The pattern did not call for it, no. Wow. No. Good. So I did it on purpose by myself. I was very proud of myself. <laughs> so please notice how well the cables line up into the ribbing. <laughs> yeah, really nice. That looks good. There you go. It really does. That's fabulous. I can't believe her pattern didn't specify it. It didn't. I was surprised. Um, mm. But then when I read it in someone else's comments, you know, project notes below, I was like, oh, yeah, I want mine to line up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I'm ready for that. Okay. So now, um, FOs, Kim, do you have another FO? Or do you have another FO? Oh, um, we're, and we're our Julie Hoover kick. <laughs> I have my, I finished my post. Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. It's really pretty. It's Bring got, it closer because it's not, it's not showing the right way. There. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. And it has a pretty, like just a little detail on the side. Um, so yeah, I finished that up that I bought that at VKL live this year and, uh, Julie Hoover post poncho. Um, it's a nice poncho. It has a split here. So you could actually drive your car and move your arms, <laughs> your arms or, you know, just reach for things and you don't get stuck in that position. So, uh, again, another beautiful pattern that she, I'm sorry, I'm hitting my table. Another beautiful pattern of hers, and she's just a brilliant designer. Um, the seaming was easy and a quick, quick knit, although it took me a little while. I kept putting it down and, you know, ADD. Yeah. So, but beautiful. Maybe I'll wear it next time. It's cute. It's in my queue. Same color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a surprise. I know, right? I know. <laughs> okay, we, maybe we should just start sharing things so we don't have right? to. Right? <laughs> have to get a little bigger. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Laura. Ta -da! Ooh, I like that. Um, again, the color's not showing up. I posted this on um, my Instagram account and the color um, was pretty accurate in that. This is, I saw this originally on Caddy Jack's Knits and it's a, a tube that you just knit you cast on, you don't do, you could do a provisional for both, but I, it wasn't necessary. Um, it's um, Pearl Soho Cashmere Merino Bloom. Mm -hmm. it is <laughs> and it's a totally not in my usual color. It's a very orangey. Um, and actually when I was knitting at Kim's in front of a window and could actually see it, it's got a lot of depth to it um, in the yarn. It's not um, just, I mean, it's, it's just got a lot of little bit of flex of colors going on and I love it. I love that cowl. It's yeah, cool. it's, it's just, it's cozy. It's not like really super tight, but it's too thick to do that. Uh, but it's warm and the cashmere, the cashmere merino bloom is a treat. So it is, it's a treat. Um, it's, How many skeins yeah. did you use, Laura? Uh, one and a half. Okay. Nice. Um, and she doesn't, the weird thing is, um, the only thing, is she didn't give a length. She just sort of said, knit as long as you want. So I had to kind of keep, while I was knitting it, kind of wrap around and see yeah. how far Wrapped I wanted it. to go. Some people would like it, you know, make it much longer. I might have even made it a tiny bit shorter, but I really like it. And it, wow. it's on a gloomy day like today. Yeah. It's, um, it's a pop of color. color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really pretty. Thank you. Okay, Lorian. I have three. So the first one I'm going to hold up because two of them are gifts and this one's already been given away and the colors are totally off, but you can see it on my Instagram account. Yeah. This is called the Lazy Katie Shawl by Birgit Fryer. Um, I knitted in Twisted Fiber Arts. The base is Ariel and the color is called Angst. And I'm, I didn't use all of the yarn. This, um, if you like gradients, you should check them out. They've been doing gradients well before the fade fad came into play and their gradients are, it's, it's a luxury yarn. Um, they have a bunch of different bases. I, I knit with their yarn for years. They were one of my first sort of indie dyers. Um, I also have another gift knit. This is a birthday gift for a friend whose birthday was a week ago and I now haven't gotten to the post office to send it and she sent me her yarn, so it's not my yarn. Um, the yarn though is gorgeous. It's Lolo did it. Oh yeah, uh, simple worsted, and these are the two colors. Which you know, oh, that's a little closer there. Um, is that this dark one's called blackberry jam, and this one is called this peach is called it's not peach. It's more cream with some speckles. Um, cheeky. It was really squishy and scrumptious, and she's getting all of it back. I'm not going to keep the yarn. Um, it's Lauren, is that is that pretty close to the colors of the one that you knit? Um, it's called, so it's the August hat. Um, it's by Sarah Solomon. It's similar to what I knit. Mine yeah, is a brighter good. red oh, and okay. it's a straight, straight, no speckled, non-speckled, um, cream color. Um, oh, pretty. So, yeah, pretty. but yeah, she saw mine and asked if I would knit her one for her birthday. Nice. And then Happy birthday, Pat. I, <laughs> oh, it's Pat. <laughs> yeah, it's Pat. <laughs> <laughs> a little over a week ago. And then I also tetanus test knit the Gulfstream <laughs> pullover or is that what it's called pullover yeah yep. here we go um i used some yarn i've had very deep stash 
that was part of a CSA. So you may be familiar with CSAs as you buy um, fruits, vegetables, flowers, meat, oh. coffee. Um, this was a fiber CSA. So um, the woman who created Juniper Moon Fibers used to be a shepherdess. She might still be. Um, her name is Susan, and she used to live on Martha's Vineyard, and my mom lives there in the summer, and she was, so I tried her yarns at their, one of their, um, I don't know, a market or something, and I heard about her there, and then she eventually moved south towards Virginia, um, so, um, but she used to run a CSA format to help um, support her flock. Um, and so you'd buy a share and you'd get a certain type of wool spun with the opportunity for it to be dyed. I did it a couple of times. Um, I got a lot of this yarn. It's a very toothy yarn. Um, and I dyed it myself and I didn't know what I'd do with it. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so I knit this uh, test knit. It was the right weight. I had plenty of it. Um, and then I really wasn't happy with how the pulling came up. Again, you probably can see pictures on my um, Instagram account so then I redyed the whole and my Ravelry page I just put a bunch of pictures there so I redyed the whole sweater post knitting um and now it's kind of camo so <laughs> um my husband says he loves it it doesn't fit him it's a very snug <laughs> fitting sweater in the sleeves the body for me is not it's pretty boxy um in the body I blocked it aggressively um and so it was fun you know it was my second test knit and I'm learning as I test knit for different people kind of whether I'm a good test knitter or not. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, my only FO is the hatcher. Would you like me to stand up again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so whips. Kim. Okay. Um, hang on. I am still working on that Georgetown cardigan by Hannah Fettig using the Pearl Soho Cash Merino which like Laura said, is just amazing to work with. And I have a sleeve done, or not quite done, I have to finish that. And I will start the other sleeve um, shortly. So it's, this yarn in your hands is amazing. Yeah. It just feels so good, it's such a treat. Um, yeah, it's just gonna, I will finish my sleeve and then I have to do the whole large collar. <laughs> so it'll be, um, this got put on hold so I could finish uh, Beth's sweater. So I just put that down for a bit. And um, let's see, the only other thing, and then I'm not gonna show you again this again until it's done, is that Espace Trico, um, oh brother, on voyage. Ah. Right. And with the, let's see, what did yeah. I use? So. Stop. You've seen it before. It's that long, super long wrap. I have just a half a skein left to go on it. Ooh, this is my gross. Netflix watching lots of TV, which I've been doing a lot lately. <laughs> just no brainer. So, and then uh, that's it for whips. Uh, oh, I have that Traniella scarf too with the beautiful lace pattern that I got at Mayak. Mayak, um, yeah. Yeah, and that's it. I don't, I'm not one to have a lot of whips going. It makes me a little anxious. <laughs> which that's just my own little, that's a whole nother podcast. <laughs> so, so that's it. Those, uh, those three. Okay. Laura. I actually think three is a lot. I'm a pretty <laughs> monogamous knitter. Um, I have a lot of yarn and ideas, but I'm a pretty monogamous knitter. But anyway, my whip, I'm just going to give a little shout out, first of all, to this adorable oh, cute. Bag that I got at VKL in um, the Knitting Place booth, and it is—it's called a canoe bag, I think, and it's 65 South, 65 South Alabama.com. But I got that at the Knitting Place, and it's perfect for um, shawl knitting. And I am knitting the lace wing. It's called a shawl, but it's really almost a little bit more of a scarf. It's just a long rectangle with fringe. And I saw this project at uh, VKL as well in Fuse Fiber Studios, which sadly oh, has gone out of business. No, I and love that yarn too. They, oh my God, it's gorgeous. This is their Smoky Singles. And uh, this color, I'm going to try hard to get close enough. 
yeah there that's, yeah, that's pretty close yeah that's pretty close it's yep. like a really dark tealy pretty um yarn and i love this um it's just i can't wait um it's very strange because you there's two different patterns that you kind of alternate between and you change the needle size really and right now it looks very strange it's hard to show um but apparently this all blocks out because this part is almost like ribbing and you have to really aggressively block it to match the, the eyelet, part yeah. the yarn over stuff so you've, knit, you've knit quite a bit of it <laughs> i've had a lot of Are time on my hands <laughs> a lot of time on my hands Exactly. Um, <laughs> we sh I should have had much more knitting than this, considering what's going on. I know. Actually, I feel like that, too. And the only other thing I'm going to show, my nails look terrible. Oh, you saw it last time. Is, yeah. um, I ordered this also at BKL. Um, this is um, Porterness. It's the bubble ring and um, Porterness Studios. And she does a lot of knitting themed. This actually isn't really a knitting themed uh, piece, but... Um, she has a lot of knitting themed jewelry and, and um, I'd love to give her a shout out. She's awesome. I love her designs and um, she's probably somebody like many, many people that I don't know what she's doing right now. I mean, she has a website, but I think she mostly sold through shows that are all being canceled. So um, I encourage everyone. It's Porterness, N-E-S-S studios.com. I'll link it in uh, the show notes, Laura. So just yeah. add that to your list yeah. and send it to me. I did. I know, but um, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, so anyway, just check it out if you haven't ever seen her stuff, if you're looking for gifts for your knitting friends um, or yourself, um, check out her stuff because it's she's got some really cool stuff, stitch markers and uh, just all kinds of knitting related That's things. That's where Kim's ring was from. Yeah. I got her ring there too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you show that last time? I forget. Uh, yeah. When, when we came, came back from before. Before. I don't know what time it was. Yeah. She showed it sometime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine had like little knit um, stitches. stitches. stitches on yeah. It. Really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, Katie. But I, but I wear this a right, lot. No, Lorian, you're okay. up. This so is. I am knitting, like a lot of the knitting world population, a sorrel. Oh, <laughs> love. Look at that. that. Is so okay. beautiful. Woolen Pine is the designer. It's a tag team. It's a duo of Abby Knits. And if you've been watching our podcast, Abby Knits is the designer of my Louise poncho, which is my red um, piece of lace poncho that I made from um, my acquisition at Rhinebeck this year yeah. and Dank Fiber and um, who has, I don't know all of her background, but she's done a tremendous amount of test knitting. Everything she produces is stunning and she does some fabulous tutorials of different ways, techniques and stitches. And when I knew that she'd put out a pattern, I, I kind of resisted because it's designed with mohair and I am not using mohair. This is wool and pine as well. I forgot. To oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. And uh, yeah, they released like an initial collection, and um, so um, her name is Selena. And I just thought, all right, I tried a few things with this yarn. I had a design in mind, uh, a, like my own, that didn't pan out for some Vera. I started. I went through a pat pile of about twenty uh, knitting magazines that were sitting on my bedside table. And I found something and then I was sitting down, I had knit maybe half of the yoke, it was a top down. And then I was wearing my feather and fern, is that what it's mm -hmm. called from yep. Ben Steingast? Mm -hmm. And I realized it looked exactly the same. Like no wonder I liked it, I had a sweater that was <laughs> nearly the same and I was like, I'm not doing that. And I said, that's a sign, the Sorel is, is meant to be. And so it's DK weight, it's designed with fingering and mohair. I'm not a mohair person. Um, but I have plenty of this. I'm knitting it in Hedgehog Fiber Alpaca DK. I say it's a tonal black. It's called graphite. It looks, I'm hoping it's more black than gray because I have plenty. Can you hold it up again, Lorian? Yes. So it, it's mm. so, it's so hard to tell. It's it, reading with some blue. Oh, wait. It, well, with some there's blue. There's no blue. Window, but it it's not definitely blue. Yeah. black yeah. and gray. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it's really showing up kind of bright. If I hold it back here, maybe it's not as. Anyway, I have knit most, all of the yoke, all of these kind of unique stitches here. So the fun part's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm in like the speed section, hopefully. I'm doing a few short rows in the back and then hopefully the speed section. So, so. Lorianne, are you going to knit it inside out because it's all purl? 
Yeah, it's, it's like designed that way. Not you. You don't knit the yoke that way, but once you get to the then body, you turn around, you go inside out. Oh, and that's one of those sweaters that I've had my finger on the button for yarn, like, oh, I'm gonna make that, and then yeah. I click out. Yeah, some that's people are doing right. gorgeous ones. Um, beautiful. They're coming out beautiful, and I can see why you would want to use. You might want to use mohair. Some of the stitches have a little bit of space between them, so it does help to have mohair hides a lot of mistakes. So, um, but I'm not. Um, but I'm happy with how it's coming out and I'm glad to be blazing through my stash. I have four whips going right now, two blankets, two sweaters, but this is the only one I'm going to show you today. Nice. Nice. Um, I have, um, two whips. Well, actually this one is almost an FO. This is my shift cowl oh, um, okay. with the, um, Freya, uh, hand painted, um, yarn that I bought at BKL. And as you can see, I've started to seam it up, um, but I was in the middle of teaching a class on using the shift. We were, we were making shifts. And so some of my students wanted me to make a video of how I seam it. So I am waiting for B&H Photo to send me a cell phone holder so that I can prop it on my um, tripod and try and show them how to seam it. So this Isn't should be your kids photo. Are It's what? Isn't that what your kids are for? Yeah. Well, actually, they're both working. Like, um, Devin is taking his classes online, and Ian is doing his work online. So, well, then have Rich do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got nothing better to do. <laughs> Hold the cell phone for yeah. me. Hey, Spike, come here. <laughs> he's looking at that's my dog. He's looking at me like, what? What, mom? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my second whip um, might look really familiar. Um, it is another Gulfstream pullover test knit for Beth McDonald Stone. Um, I actually had a sinus infection last week, so this would have been done, but I didn't do a lot of knitting. So I'm doing um, my two at a time magic loop sleeves. I did too. Um, Game changer. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, so Lorian actually, um, there isn't, or we couldn't find a, um, video on YouTube about it. Go figure. Um, and so Lorian actually with her daughter, Nora, um, filming did a tutorial on how to do, how to set up the two at a time magic loop sleeves. And, um, and it's really good. So it's, check out, it's in our, it's in our video, um, library under our knitting posse, um, page on YouTube. Um, so I'm using the exact same yarn as Kim. It is the Harrisville Nightshades in the talk radio color, um, which has little flecks of purple. I don't know if it's showing. It's actually me. reading pretty well on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and that will be done by our next podcast. So um, next week. Yes, actually. Kim. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> Girl. Um, yeah, I don't have many appointments these days. <laughs> Oh my God, I have, I still have a file of facts on my desk, like, and I do week by week. And this morning I flipped it over for Monday and I was like, it, it's just so weird. I, I had doctor's appointment. I had stuff that was, you know, everything's erased out of my yeah. calendar. It's I know. So, yeah. It's, yeah. Bizarre. I've never in my life imagined anything like this. And yeah, we're, I, we're in Connecticut and pretty close to the epicenter of, yeah. you know, COVID-19 and it's. In the U.S., yeah. We're in lockdown. Mm -hmm. lockdown mm -hmm. yeah I love it <laughs> <laughs> well I think we're all glad that we're knitters yeah right. so I yeah. think it really definitely. Um, definitely I know a lot of people who aren't loving it and I'm like ooh, I've got all this time and all this yarn and yeah you know, right well, right I like having the I kids it's home a and, serious issue you know. for some people but if you're healthy and you're home it's sure nice to have something to do Mm -hmm. True. Very true. Um, and I also, I wanted to say that, um, like Kim said, um, Beth has put, um, just published the night, uh, the uh, Gulf Gulfstream Stream. pullover today on Ravelry. And again, um, that and all of her patterns are free. And I was going to say, I was going to joke, Kim, I was going to say for our su subscribers <laughs> and everyone else in the world. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so uh, that yeah. was very generous of her to do that. She said it was a for a quarantine and chill. Um, and um, you can just go and there's no code. You don't have to put it in. It just comes up. Yeah. So. Like Next thing I'm going to do is search that. for a new pattern and buy some yarn online. I mean, yeah. I just feel yeah. like you have to support these stores. And speaking of which, mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I have, I have an acquisition. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. No acquisitions. Okay. So I, I mentioned this on our last podcast that nutmeg fibers was running a really lovely sale. Ooh. This was back in mid February. Yep. <laughs> we did our last and I bought some of her cabin base. Um, the colorway is called yarn. Oh, walnut. All of her yarn is naturally dyed and she gets some really great colors. Um, this is the chunky. I'm going to make a sweater out of it. Really? Um, it is 50 50 alpaca wool, just like this one. So it's soft. Um, and it's, it's super soft. And not only is Meg dealing with Corona crisis, uh -huh. she was in, she's based in Nashville. So they were hit oh, with. Oh, God. Tornado? Yes. Yeah, tornado. Yeah. Um, and so we're out. Yeah. So I'm super excited to start with this. I'm not letting myself. And then for my birthday. Yes. Ooh. I, I can't wait I to do this in real life. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it'll come pretty close to true because it's it, it is. <laughs> That's wow. Yes. So it is a Hohe and Co bag. It's a really good size bag. This is not a knitting bag. This is a handbag. Yeah. Um, so I've been using <laughs> it that way. Sweater. I um it's uh, Hohe Locatelli's, you know. Maria, open it up. Open it? Well, there's stuff in it. <laughs> Are you using it as your purse? Yes, I'm using it as my purse. 100%. There's a pocket on the outside here. Nice. Which is kind of nice for like keys or my your cell phone. phone. So cell phone, I do want to yeah. mention this because if you are someone who is still out grocery shopping and cannot get a, an online order and you use Stop and Shop, you can use your phone as your scanner gun. You don't need to touch a scanner gun and you don't need to put your stuff on the belts and stuff. There's a scan it um, app right on your phone. So, and then there's a pocket inside. That's the bag. That's what I um, wanted. So the thing that was really interesting to me is I work in a school and one of the teachers there is from Argentina. And I had my bag out. She came in my office as I was leaving one day and she was like, this is really good. And I said, it's from Argentina. And she was like, <laughs> we have the best weather. We have the best. Yeah. So, um, so I'm a little addicted. I actually bought another one, but I'll save it for next time. <laughs> really? I got oh, yeah. I got one from Espastri Co. I, I love the dusty pink, but it's much smaller one, but it hasn't come yet, but hopefully next time. Yeah, my, my second one is smaller. I'm, I'm still trolling for one more. But. <laughs> ah, yeah. the black All right, one. I'm feeling a little left out. I might have to come do the Kate, top <laughs> Did you see Suburban Stitchers? Hers were cute. Oh, no. They did a, she did a, collaboration with Hohe. Yeah. Oh, like a beautiful pink color. Is that the one, Laura, you bought? Uh, I did the dusty pink. It's a very soft pink, but like Espace Tricot did an orange one with um, Gigi Made It. Uh, yeah. Special uh, edition, which, you know, was gone like that. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think they're doing a bit of that, you know, special color, special editions. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies. Um, so um, we are planning right now um, to podcast for you weekly because what else are we going to do? <laughs> so I, I don't know. I think you know. I still have to work. My school's on work. break right now and la this weekend last, but um, I don't know. I'm the fundraising director, so yeah. I don't know how much fundraising there will be. Right. It's time right. to start the job. Well, this could be your lunch break, Lorian. <laughs> okay. It would be great. Yeah. Um, so we'll come back at you next week. I don't know like how much we'll have to tell you. <laughs> it could be a shorter podcast, but they'll probably vary week to week. And um, well, we can dive in the closet and see what. Sure. Sure. Yeah, like this. I'm yeah. sure we all have yeah. whole knits that just hopefully ones that you can remember the name of in the yard. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> Perfect. I like the UFO. Yeah. yeah, an identifiable finished object. <laughs> I literally, I have no idea, but anyway, too funny. All right, so we will, um, we will see you all next week. Everybody, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay away from everybody. <laughs> exactly. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.